into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Person to us. That's it. Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? Look up. So clever. Did you miss us? Oh, she did. She did. Are you glad we're back? She's so glad we're back. Go on. Which way to go? Go up. up. Go up. There's a door. Up. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Sam. Go away. I'm not listening. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. No, go in. Don't open the door. What's happening? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step to into the shadows? They can't stop me! Then do it! Run! 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 The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. No, and they want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you to them. see them? Do you see their faces? Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. 
She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zen Bell. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? She'll have to go on. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. Don't. The torch will go out. There's light in the distance. She can do it. She can't do it. The light's gone out. Run. Run. Get through it as quick as you can. The panic is here.
Where is it? We will find him. What are you waiting for? Come on, what the hell? What are you doing? Going. She has it. She did it. She's done it. Well done. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night, the face is in the dark, coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinda, could see the monster in her. Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rhea would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir.
the light works. She can sense it. She's, she's lighting the torch. It's not gonna help. She escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Where is her mother? It's just another trick. Don't... It's a trap. The beast is coming. Stupid beast. <laughs>
Zinbel was trying to save her from the darkness. And now everybody is dead because of her. Oh, 
Why doesn't she learn? She well, she learns. She doesn't the dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Once she gets down there, she'll never come out. It's luring her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mom. Deep. Where are you from? The beast knows. The beast knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. She goes for their tricks every time. Plays into his hands. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Brian wants to keep Fafner's gold all for himself. Brian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. And illusion. He knows how to it. The lights run out. She'll die. She can't. She'll die. She has to. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's the plan? What's she think? Is she going to get there?
can't help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Keep the torch alight. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps in enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafner's roasted heart, and takes Fafner's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie.
people think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse, the darkness, or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left, headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul, even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. This time, I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. And take me to the master to trust you, as deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. I know. I'll sketch. 